All right, we are live. We are here with the uh, 88.5 live stream, live from the theater at the Ace Hotel. I am Julie Slater, your midday host from 88.5 FM. And we are going to bring you a great live performance from Kurt Vile. Uh, we'll have a little chat with Kurt, uh, but let's kick it off. Kurt Vile, please take it away. All right, thanks.
but now I'm gone. Smooth. That is Kurt Vial uh, here with 88.5 FM. We are live at the theater at the Hayes Hotel uh, performing tonight, Kurt. Um, I wanted to ask, I mean, to me, even just listening to you play that song, I really feel like you write this music where I can just visualize you sort of just playing. You drop your guitar, the music keeps playing, and you walk off uh, off into uh, you know the sky somewhere. I'm wondering, um, I don't you have such an old soul vibe to me, and I wonder if you get that a lot from people. Uh, well, that's a compliment. Uh, I, I get that vibe from you, too. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I like, I like, I like the idea of uh, letting go of your guitar and it's still playing. You know, it's kind of beautiful. That's kind of way, the way your brain, the guitar should still be going in your brain at, at the very least, right? Yeah. It seems like you write a lot of stuff that would, would you say mostly your writing is kind of stream of consciousness? I, I know I read an article, I think it was in Guitar World, where you leave a lot of things around where you can record at all times. Are you, is it just popping out of your brain at all times? I wouldn't say at all times. Um, and when I was younger, I used to be like, why am I not writing a song? But now, now that I'm a little older, 42, I just, I like when I'm not writing, you know, I like that too. Uh, but I, it's not like you're not thinking at all. I, I just, I, yeah, I saw that guitar world. Uh, like, but I've been doing it long enough that, yeah, you kind of just just open your brain a little, get lost in the chord, and then the lyrics sort of come, and you don't think too hard about it. And that's that's so sort of stream of consciousness, but with a little experience, you know? I know it seems, it seems easy to say it, you know, just kind of let it come out, but is it always easy? Do you ever get any kind of blocks where it's just not happening well that's what i'm in the old days i just feel like when you sit down trying to write uh you know that sounds like you could be doing other stuff you could literally be just watching tv or something you might as well <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes you just have to go live life yeah really just the, to get songs i guess that's sort of the thing but i I'm I'm actually really excited to even be here well on tour at all. You know, oh, it's yeah. been a crazy couple of years, but here at the Ace, and maybe, you know, I got enough albums. I feel like under my belt, uh, different steps I had to prove to myself or the world that like maybe I can. It's easier for me to say, oh, you know, don't force it. Or but I, I think it is good advice, even if somebody is, because uh, I did my fair share of, of struggling to even get where I am today and i still i still feel like i sh still struggle even in where i'm at you know but i think ultimately that's the best advice is to just try and not to sweat it you know uh now you mentioned i mean you have a huge catalog of music and you've collaborated with so many people so the title of the album is watch my moves which you just sang in that song so what's the it's all lowercase little parentheses what's the little wink in your like why'd you name the album that well, I didn't know, you know, what the title was going to be at first, but in this song, yeah, this song in particular, Mount Airy Hill, that song just really came together in my home studio, and I say, watch my moves, and it's kind of like an attitude thing, it's like, especially even the way I say it, watch my moves, it's sort of like, I feel like it's my version of Bob Dylan's, like, bringing it all back home, where he's he's talking to, like, the British invasion, where he brings rock and roll back to America, you know, the home of rock and roll. And when I say watch my moves, it's sort of similar. It's like, it's my turn. I'm back. You know, you don't have to leave, leave the room, but you do have to get out of the way because it's my turn. It's my move. So just get out of the way. Oh, my gosh. That's so awesome. I love that. <laughs> uh, also, you cover a Bruce Springsteen song on your new album. What made you decide to do that? I know you're a big Bruce fan. I, I think I heard Tom Petty. Also, we hear you talk about Neil Young. I, li I mean, I like all, they're all heroes for sure. But Bruce... That song in particular, it's such a deep cut. That's why, like, they call him the boss because he'll have whole albums, solid albums that didn't even come out. You know, like the anniversary of a Darkness on the Edge of Town. There's that anniversary box set where there's a whole disc of this heartbreaking stuff that didn't even ever come out. And uh, Wages of Sin is an example of that. That's a song I covered, and it's an outtake from Born in the USA. I understand why he didn't put it on there, but at the same time, it's a crusher, you know. 
understand for commercial reasons he had to leave it off maybe uh but you know now it's mine so <laughs> that's great so now bruce ended up doing like a broadway show i, I feel there. like did you ever see it i did oh was it amazing it i was, haven't seen it yeah it was great do you ever see you're such a storyteller do you ever see yourself doing something like that yeah maybe if you asked me like a few months or year a couple of years ago i'd say no but i i do have an accumulation of stories to be honest so if uh the if the uh, price was right, I would do it. <laughs> <laughs> Calling all people with yeah. money. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's great. And just one more. I know you were like such a road warrior. What what changed for you during the pandemic? I mean, that had to be pretty crushing. It w Well, honestly, I was ready to check out anyway. So I've, I'm not, just, obviously there was plenty of uh, uncertainty and mind games with the psyche, you know, and lost a lot of great people like John Prine, so that was terrible. Uh, but for me personally, I, I'm glad I could was do it. I was planning a... to stay home anyway, and it w but that would have probably been harder to achieve in reality. But that was my plan to hole up and record from home. I, I had been moving too much. Yeah. And you recorded this album. Did you record it at home? Did you also record part of it in L.A.? Yeah, as well? Rob Schnapf um, has a... Uh, who lives in LA. He's from Jersey, but he's, I've worked with him since Believe Him Going Down, which is a couple albums ago. And he, yeah, I would come and work with him as well. He recorded Wages of Sin, in fact, in LA. Uh, but he came to Philly too, which was cool. I never had my producer come to my house. So that was also awesome. And it has to be so different recording, you know, in your own home and then coming to LA. How did you find that mix? Well, I will say Rob's studio, I've been there enough and it is cozy. Like home, maybe, home. It's yeah. like home. So I it wasn't in a weird way, I think, because he was there. He wasn't even there all the time at at, at my house, but it's it's it, it, it's similar vibes to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. All right, the new album with Kurt Vile is Watch My Moves. We are live at the theater at Ace Hotel in Los Angeles. He's got a show tonight. Thank you for watching the stream for eighty eight five FM. Kurt, it's got a couple more songs. Please yep. play away. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'll play a couple oldies. I don't want to change, but I don't want to stay the same. I don't want to go, but I'm running. I don't want to work, but I don't want to sit around all day frowning. Oh. I don't want to give up, but I kind of want to lie down, but not sleep, just rest. Give me a break, how much does it really take to get my head out of here and I've been searching. I 
don't know what for I came across some girl she was a tomboy and I was a peeping Tom on that scene I was a peeping Tom you know what I mean I was a I don't wanna go, but it's a one-way street with me So I've been told, so I'm going When I'm down, I would never come around But you should be kind and read my mind I've been searching And I don't know what for and she was a tomboy and I admired her cause I was a peeping Tom on that scene I was a peeping Tom you know what I mean I was a I was a I was I was a I don't want to change but I don't want to stay the same I don't want to go but I'm running I don't want to work but I don't sit around all day frowning There's been but one true love In my baby's arms In my baby's arms And I got the hands To hold on to them I get sick of just about everyone And I Hide my baby's arms Hide in my baby's arms Cause except for her, you know, as I imply I will never, 
ever, ever be alone Cause it's all in my baby's hands Shining, shining, secret stones In my baby's hands In my baby's hands I get sick of just about everyone And then I hide in my baby's arms Shrink myself just like a Tom Thumb And then I hide in my baby's hands Hide in my baby's hands Cause except for her There just ain't nothing to latch on to Yeah, yeah There's been but one true love In my baby's arms 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 Thank you so much. That is Kurt Vile. We're live at the theater at Ace Hotel, downtown Los Angeles. He's got a show tonight. Come on down. I think they did have a few tickets uh, released for that. And uh, thank you for tuning in to 88.5 FM, our live stream. I'm Julie Slater. Thank you so much, Kurt. Thank you so much. This has been an honor. You're sweet. Yeah. FM, KCSN, and KCSN HD1, Northridge, Los Angeles. KSBR and KSBR HD1, Mission Viejo. A service of California State University, Northridge, and Saddleback College. Member-supported public radio. Streaming on the web at 885FM.org.